Hello everyone. We will just wait one minute before we start this webinar to make sure everyone is on board. Thank you. So, hello everyone. SVG System is pleased to welcome you today for a new webinar entitled Equinox Micro, the navigation solution for challenging environments. I am Noemi Romilly, the event manager of SVG Systems, and I will be moderating this webinar today. But before we start, I will just make a, a short focus on logistics. So during this session, you have the opportunity to ask all your questions uh, we have a dedicated team ready to answer live um, all your questions. But if you want to have a better display of this webinar, you can also hide the, the chat window that is located just on the right side of your screen. I will now welcome our main presenter for this webinar, my colleague Johan Plenet. Johan Plenet is an experienced professional in the field of international electronics with over 15 years of experience, Yuan has held key positions in several multinational companies where he has owned his expertise in product management and electronics. He has extensive experience in product development and management, as well as in managing cross-functional teams across different geographies. Yuan is currently working as the head of product at SBG Systems. Welcome, Yuan, and the mic is yours. Thank you, Noemi, and hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for attending this, this uh, webinar today. Uh, the key topic is navigation in challenging environment and how our new inertial navigation system, the Equinox Micro, fits these requirements. Uh, the, uh, the agenda for today is we'll start with a brief presentation of SBG systems. I know that most of you probably know us, so we'll keep that very short. Then we'll go into the technical parts with the key requirements for navigation system and especially in harsh environments. And then we'll go into the core of this presentation, the presentation of our new inertial navigation system, the Equinox Micro. And then at the end of the session, we'll take your questions. So feel free to use the chat to ask any question if you have. But without any further ado, let's get into the presentation. And first, few words about SBG systems. We are a manufacturer and provider of navigation solutions, also with orientation and stabilization options. We do mostly hardware with uh, more than 30,000 sensors deployed on the field, but we also have multiple software offerings. And we have more than, than 1,000 customers who trust us all across the world and five offices that help us support you, uh, both in terms of sales and daily uh, use of our products. We have a wide range of, uh, of sensors, and you can see on this uh, a short list of the sensors that we have from our entry level, which is already a very high performance inertial navigation system, the Ellipse, all the way to the Apogee and even uh, specific, specific systems such as the NavSight Horizon. The new product that we're introducing today, the Equinox Micro, fits well within this range with performance that are very close to the performance of, a, of an Equinox, but the size and the form factor, which are very close to an ellipse. And on top of our hardware sensors, we also have a software offering, especially around Kinosha, our post-processing solution that can be used, among others, for the creation of ground truth, for diagnostic and simulation. I'll let uh, Nono Emi ask you first a question to understand better our audience. Yes, it's now time for our first poll question. So the question will appear on the right side of the screen and you will have 30 seconds to answer it. 
So the question should appear and it is, which industry do you belong to? And you can choose between military, civil autonomous navigation, survey, or other if you belong to another industry. You still have 15 seconds to answer. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your vote. Uh, Johan, can you comment the result? Yes, yes, thank you for voting. And uh, we can see that uh, the, the results are quite split. 50% uh, for survey, 50% for uh, civil autonomous navigation. Uh, this is great. The Equinox Micro can be used in both use cases. For today, we will focus a bit more on autonomous navigation. But if you want to do uh, to use it in, to use the Equinox Micro in survey, stay tuned. Uh, you'll still uh, you'll still be able to learn a lot. Let's move now into the technical part of our presentation and the key requirements for a navigation system. And then for key for navigate when you select a, a navigation system, everything starts for from the requirements of your mission. From this, from the kind of mission you want to lead from the kind of environment you're going to use the navigation system, you will be able to derive a number of specifications. Specifications in terms of system itself, the accuracy of your navigation system, whether you can use the GNSS or not, will dictate whether you can, uh, you can rely on GNSS for position or not. Of course, if you use GNSS, the time to fix, depending on your operational constraints, uh, might be, some, might be a, a key a critical factor. In terms of system specifications, of course, also you have to see how you can integrate your navigation system within your, uh, your vehicle. This means having the right interfaces, mechanical, electrical, electronical, etc. But then on top of that, of course, the, you need to make sure that your navigation system is going to be robust enough to withstand the kind of environment you plan to use it in. This means making sure that it can survive with the temperature, vibration, shocks. And on top of surviving, you need to make sure that it is reliable and able to give you reliable data, especially around position, velocity, orientation, to be able to, you, to use it in the, uh, in the kind of missions you plan to use. There are multiple ways to do an, to a, for an architecture of a navigation system. Here you can see a, a brief example, a short list. Uh, you can, if you are working in a full open sky, select to use GNSS only. This will give you very good results uh, as long as you are in open sky. But of course, this means that you will get position and velocity at a low frequency. It means that you need to rely on dual antenna for the heading, which is not always possible, especially on smaller vehicles. And it also means, of course, that you have no roll and pitch. On top of that, the moment you lose the GNSS, uh, when you go under a tunnel, even maybe when you go under a tree, uh, you'll, you'll start losing your position and your navigation solution, which for many applications can be a blocking point. The next option would be to start to add on top of the GNSS receiver, a magnetometer based IHRS. In this kind of scenario, you will be able to get an attitude heading without relying on the dual antenna GNSS plus roll and pitch but at the same time, you still do not have the capacity to continue navigating without a GNSS reception. The last option and the one that we offer on the Equinox Micro is what we call an all-in-one inertial navigation systems. In this, in this situation, you'll have one navigation system that will integrate the IMU and the GNSS receiver and will be able to give you position and velocity at a much higher frequency, up to 200 Hertz, a very accurate heading and roll and pitch, even in single antenna, and in most cases, uh, in the, uh, possible to, to get it in single antenna, and roll and pitch that would be much more accurate than if you rely on uh, a, ma a magnetometer based AHRS. But on top of that, an INS, because it already has sensor fusion built in, will be able to continue providing navigation solution even when you lose the GNSS and do what we call dead reckoning navigation, which means giving you a navigation solution uh, in an environment where GNSS is not available. And depending on your kind of application, this can last from a few seconds to a few minutes, uh, depending on your vehicle and your specification. 
up to multiple minutes and tens of minutes uh, when you can integrate external ladings, as we'll discuss afterwards. On top of the dead reckoning, an all-in-one INS is going to offer the capacity to check the integrity of the measurement it gives, the integrity of the position, of the velocity, and of the attitude by, uh, check, by uh, using multiple sensors. And this is something that uh, come built in in our system and will help you understand whether you can use at any time the, uh, the data that are given by the, by the Equinox Metro. When you are navigating in a harsh environment, as I mentioned before, you need to make sure that the device that you have is reliable in this kind of environment, whether it can survive, but also whether it can provide you with reliable data. There are lots of different parameters. I'm not going to go into the details uh, now, but we'll see afterwards how we've qualified the Equinox Micro for this kind of environment, temperature, EMC, MI, ingress protection, etc. Before we go into the presentation of the Equinox Micro, we'll have a second question. I'll let Noemi uh, ask it. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Johan. So it's now time for our second poll question. And the question is, um, what would be the most important feature of the new Equinox Micro for you? You have the choice between accuracy, miniaturization, and robustness. You still have 20 seconds to vote. Thank you. Okay, the votes are now over. Thank you. Um, Johan, can you comment on the results? Yes, thank you all for, uh, for your votes. We can see here that accuracy is the, the lead factor with uh, some people, uh, some of you who are looking for robustness. None of you are really considering miniaturization, but in any case, it was a trick question because actually the Equinox Micro can do it all. Uh, and we're going to see afterwards how, how we've managed to do that. So now let's get into the presentation itself of the new, our new in inertial navigation system, the Equinox Micro. We'll first uh, go into details on the performance and the features of the system. Then we'll, uh, we'll discuss the environmental qualifications that we've passed. And then a few words on how easy it is to integrate and all the tools that we offer to make your life easier. And finally, we'll go into details on dead reconning navigation and the kind of external ladings that we offer so that you can have a very accurate, very good performance in an environment where you lose the GNSS. But first, a few words on the Equinox Micro itself. So as you can see on the video, it's a miniature GNSS-aided navigation system. We have managed to integrate inside this very small uh, INS a very high high accuracy, very low IMU, and a dual antenna, full constellation, dual frequency GNSS receiver. All of this with a device that's less than six centimeters on each axis and less than 200 grams. And also despite its small size and its very high accuracy, the Equinox Micro is a system that is very rugged and that we have qualified for the harshest environment following the MIL STD for the qualification guidelines. On top of that, we have built in all our ease of use, high level interfaces that you, that we, that you have on our uh, Equinox Apogee NAV site uh, product range, such as Ethernet, can access multiple serial ports, a data logger, etc. The Equinox Micro in itself uh, is available, it's complete. Uh, the product uh, has been qualified and validated completely. The first commercial delivery will happen early September, as we are currently in the ramp of, of the manufacturing. The, the Equinox Micro has been designed to operate in all kinds of environment, and this means all kinds of vehicles. Uh, and in itself, it's designed to be able to operate in land navigation, in marine navigation, in air navigation, but also can be used outside of navigation uh, solutions such as pointing and stabilization. And of course, uh, it can be used for, uh, for survey applications since it relies on a very high, a very performance uh, IME. 
how do we manage to get this level of performance in charge mode product? The underlying technology is MEMS, microelectromechanical systems. MEMS are electronic chips that embed nanometric or micrometric uh, moving parts uh, that allow us to measure acceleration and rotations. The benefits of MEMS are multiple. Some of them are first that they are very high accuracy and they are very low size and weight, but also, and this is extremely important, they have a very low power consumption, which allows the Equinox Micro to be used even on small vehicle with small batteries. But on top of that, because MEMS sensors have a very high bandwidth and very high measurement range, they're very resilient to vibration. And due to their low size and low weight, they, are, they can withstand very high shocks and survive to very high shocks and actually recover and, and have a very short blinding periods. But MEMS are not easy to integrate. They're miniature. They're very, they're, their small size means that uh, minor uh, changes in the manufacturing process could lead to uh, huge differences in terms of performance. So in SBG system, we've built an expertise in manufacturing IMUs with MEM sensors with a full manufacturing uh, process based in France, where we can calibrate individually all our IMUs. The result of this calibration is that we are able to correct and to save the correction directly in the memory of each of our IMUs uh, for all the differences that we can have between the sensor itself between our manufacturing process, etc. And this is for you the warranty seal that the IMU is going to operate to work the same and to meet our specified performance, that all our IMUs are going to meet our specified performance. And to that effect, we also, for each IMU that we sell, give you a validation report that details all the tests that we have run and that details how the IMU has passed them. Of course, uh, if during our, our calibration process, we see that one IMU is not uh, successful in passing the tests, we do not sell it, we scrap it, so that you can be guaranteed that the IMU you receive meets our specified performance. Now, going back a bit on the Equinox Micro and its key features. So as I mentioned, it's based around the low noise IMU, on top of which we run our feed proven navigation algorithms that allow us to reach this outstanding performance. We have uh, a lot of high level integration features, so that, such as Ethernet support, CAN support, a built in PTP server, a built in managed trip client, so it's very easy for you to bring RTK correction. Yeah. On top of that, even though we have a dual antenna GNSS receiver, our algorithms are designed to operate at nominal performance in single antenna as long as you have sufficient performance. Of course, in low perf in sufficient dynamics, sorry. Of course, in low dynamics condition, such as static operation or marine applications, uh, you might it might be better to use a dual antenna system. On top of that, we have a data logger built in, which makes it very easy for you to do, uh, integrate, to work on it in a, during your R&D, and then to diagnose any uh, issues uh, after a mission. And as I mentioned, it's also a product that can be used for all kinds of applications, ground, air, marine. And we have developed motion profiles that allow us to tune every parameter of the sensor for, these, for all of these applications. And you just need to select the right motion profile for your application. And you know that the sensor will be parametered to eke out the maximum performance in all conditions. Talking about performance, uh, the Equinox Micro is a very accurate system. You can see here the level of performance that we offer in the different applications, and I'm not going to read through the slides, you read faster than I do. Uh, but what's important is that you can go on our support website to be able to find all these performance specifications and much more, such as performance uh, in uh, GNSS denied environment. Uh, and you can access this support website even without having any account or even without uh, purchasing an Equinox Micro. 
We have also qualified the Equinox Micro to be able to operate in the harshest environment. This means that we have tested it for temperature, for altitude and high velocity. We have also, of course, qualified it for substance ingress, water with uh, IP68 uh, qualification, salt fog, kerosene projections. But also, and more importantly, maybe, we have qualified it to be able to resist to vibration and shocks following the MILES CD810 standards. And also, and this is something unique, unique for this class of, uh, of navigation system, we have qualified it to be able to withstand uh, the harshest electromagnetic environment uh, with uh, following the standards MILES CD461 and MILES CD1275. This means that whatever your, uh, your vehicle, whatever other equipments are surrounding the Equinox Micro, you can be confident that the Equinox Micro is not going to be perturbed by the other systems and is not going to perturb the other system. And despite this very high level of military qualifications, the Equinox Micro remains without any export restriction and is ITA free. In terms of connectivity, the Equinox Micro can do it all. Uh, we have as I mentioned, Ethernet can, but we also have a wide, uh, a large number of serial connectors to sync out for sync-ins. This means that if you have, and if you want to integrate the Equinox Micro with a, wide, with a variety of external sensors, external systems, you know that you'll be able to using the, the large number of different interfaces. And you can find the documentation for all these interfaces, hardware, uh, and software on our support website. They are publicly available. You do not need an account and you'll get documentation for mechanical integration, interfaces, electrical, in uh, electrical integration, etc. And on top of that, a large documentation on our APIs, on our uh, proprietary formats, open, open formats, third party formats, etc. And on top of that, directly on our support website, you can get all our integration tools, such as a, con a configuration user interface, our configuration API, data visualization tools, uh, an external data logger and an external entry client if you do not want to use uh, the, the ones that are built in the Equinox Micro and much more. Talking about the tools that you can use in combination with the Equinox Micro, our Kinosha, our PPK software, is a very powerful tool to use in combination with the Equinox Micro. You'll be able to directly leverage and use the data from the Equinox Micro in a few clicks within Kinosha. And this can be used for a wide variety of, uh, of reasons. Of course, you can use it to increase the accuracy of the measurement uh, uh, that you would get with using the Equinox Micro by doing PPK. This can be used for the creation of a ground truth, for example. But then Kinosha also offers a lot of solutions for R&D with very high level analysis and diagnosis tools, allowing you, for example, to visualize very accurately what's happening in terms of IMU data, in terms of GNSS, which satellites are available, what are the CNRs, what are the pseudorange, the phases, etc. On top of that, Kinosha offers a lever arm, lever arm calculation tool that will, able, that will enable you to calculate the lever arms, primary lever arm, secondary lever arm, lever arm to your odometry, if you have one, very accurately. And we know that this is something which can be very challenging uh, to, uh, to do without, uh, without using Kinosha. Also, Kinosha can be used for simulation because it uses exactly the same algorithms that are running on the Equinox Micro. It means that you can use it to simulate the behavior of the Equinox Micro. And for that, we have multiple tools that will help you uh, quickly um, investigate what will happen if you change something in your setup. For example, with manual rejections, that, would, that will let you reject the GNSS, a wide variety of headings, so that you can simulate the results you would have and compare the results uh, with and without these headings. On top of that, since it uses exactly the same algorithms as the Equinox Micro, this can be used as a powerful regression testing before you upgrade to the newest version of the algorithms 
you can check using Kinersha that your previous logs work flawlessly. And then therefore you can be very convinced that you won't have any operational issues on the field after the upgrade. But now let's get into the last section of our webinar. And we're going to discuss something that has been on your mind in the last few months or few years, which is navigation in an environment where GNSS is no longer warranted. We know that most of you, maybe probably all of you, are exposed on a regular basis to jamming and spoofing, which means people are trying to prevent you from getting a GNSS signal, GNSS reception. From the ground up, we have designed the Equinox Micro to be able to operate in this new paradigm where GNSS is no longer always reliable. We've built this on three pillars. First, mitigate, second, and form, and third, circumvent. Mitigate means making sure that we are able to maintain the GPS position for as long as possible. For that, we have, of course, our dual frequency, full constellation GNSS receiver, where redundancy is extremely important to make the attacks much more complicated and to reduce the risk of an attack being successful. On top of that, we have algorithms to filter the different satellite signal with fault detection and exclusion, such as uh, integrity monitoring, ring, RAIM, but multiple others. And we also use inertial base rejections to be able to more accurately reject the GNSS. Of course, the second step is inform. If we realize using the, the previous tools for mitigation and others, such as pattern recognition, that an attack is ongoing, then the first thing we do is to inform you, inform you as the system integrator, or inform the system above it, that an attack is happening so that you can, at the system level, react to this attack. And then the last step is to circumvent. Circumvent means continue providing a navigation solution, even if we lose the GNSS, because even if we do our best, and even if we have very powerful tools to mitigate GNSS attacks, there will be situations where GNSS will be lost. And then in that case, we rely on dead reckoning navigation using our very low noise IMU, multimodal sensor fusion, and the possible wide varieties of external heading, such as velocity, heading, or altitude to continue navigating. We'll go into more details on the dead reckoning navigation in a couple of slides, but before, just one last one slide on how we inform you, and you can see here our uh, user interface of the Equinox Micro that displays the status of the GNSS environment. And you can see the different flags that we have, clean, which was the situation when we, uh, when we did this creature, mitigated, whether we detect an interference, whether we detect a spoofing, or whether there is a spoofing that we detect, but we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, mitigate anymore. And then to, uh, to continue on the dead reckoning navigation. So as I mentioned, there are situations where despite our best efforts, we know that we will lose the GNSS and there we need to rely on dead reckoning navigation. And for that, first we have our very high accuracy, very low noise I IMU and the low noise part is probably the most important for dead reckoning navigation. Our robust field proven algorithms that we have designed to be able to, open, to continue navigating in this kind of environments. But on top of that, we support a large variety of external aidings. Aidings in terms of velocity, airspeed, wheel odometry, DVL. Aidings in terms of heading, a magnetometer, an external magnetometer, or aidings in terms of altitude, an external barometer. It's by combining these different types of aidings that we can offer you accurate navigation without GNSS for a very long uh, duration. But then there is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Uh, we need to work with you depending on your kind of application and depending on your kind of specified performance during an outage and the duration of an outage, of course, to be able to help you select which of these different headings make sense for uh, based on, uh, on your requirements. For example, if it might not make sense to integrate a barometer in a ground vehicle uh, application, because we can already, in our algorithms, cons con constrain the altitude based already on the, on, on the motion profile itself. 
But then as a final option also, if you know you're going to operate in an environment where jamming or spoofing attacks are a given, you also have the option to integrate an external GNSS receiver with the Equinox Micro. And if you have the access and uh, the possibility, the budget to use an MCOD GNSS receiver, the Equinox Micro can support it. And this can be a very powerful tool to make me, uh, jamming or spoofing attack much less likely to be successful. So now the last slide of the presentation before we go into your questions, uh, a quick summary of what we've discussed. So the Equinox Micro is a miniature, very accurate uh, uh, inertial navigation system on which we have a dual frequency, full constellation, dual antenna uh, GNSS receiver. Despite its small size, we've designed it to be able to withstand the harshest environment and we've qualified it against military standard, MIL SCD 810, MIL SCD 461, MIL SCD 1275. But it also remains very easy to use with very high level features, Ethernet, CAN, built-in data logger, and very importantly, a very ex exhaustive documentation of all our interfaces, hardware and software. At the same time, the Equinox Micro is, the, is designed to be able to operate in an environment where GNSS is no longer 100% reliable with multiple solutions to be able to continue working in this kind of, or this kind of environment, mitigation, information, dead recording navigation, and a wide range of external aids. And the Equinox Micro also remains uh, without any export restriction and ITER free so that it's very easy for you to import, but also to export. I know we let's move on to your uh, to your questions and I'll give the mic back to Noemi to uh, to take your questions. Yes, thank you very much Johan for this very insightful presentation of the new Equinox Micro. So it's now time for our Q&A session. I remind you I remind you you can ask all your questions using the chat box located on the right side of your screen. And for this part, I am pleased to welcome my colleague Antoine Barré, business developer for aerospace and defense, to help answering your question. Hello, Antoine. Can you hear us? Hello. Perfect. OK, great. So let's move on to the first question. Uh, the first question we, re we received is, uh, when the Equinox Micro will be available for delivery, and what is the lead time? Antoine, I'll let you take this one. So, this uh, uh, so as as you can see in the as you can saw in the slide of uh, of Johan uh, in in September, you can you will have a, a commercialization of the Equinox, but now you 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 can purchase now. Uh, we, we can discuss uh, and do not hesitate to, to send us uh, uh, your contact or we can contact us after the, um, after the meeting. Okay, great. Thank you, uh, Antoine. Uh, second question is, uh, do you also plan to offer version without GNSS like the Equinox E or A? So the Equinox Micro uh, can do everything an Equinox A or an Equinox E can do. It can already accept external GNSS. It can already provide attitude and, uh, and heading. Uh, and considering the already very small size of the Equinox Micro, even though it already has a built-in GNSS receiver, we do not plan to offer any version that do not have a, a GNSS built-in. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is, um, uh, someone asked uh, us to provide some information about GNSS denied environment and input required for dead reckoning. So I would take this this question. So the the Kinex Micro is able to to operate in environment uh, with long GNSS outages. However, not that is not designed to operate in pure GNSS denied environment. So in pure uh, in pure inertial mode, such as 100% uh, underwater operation. Assuming your question concerns the, the former use case, long outage, we have multiple heading available to support the use this use case, depending of your application on targeted performance, velocity, heading, or attitude. It's 
it's really important to, to discuss about, uh, about this point and to see with you at the system level what could be the, the appropriate solution for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question. Uh, is dead reckoning assisted by an, uh, an internal heading sensor? And second part of the question, what is the accuracy of heading sensor in that case? Yes. Uh, so for this one, the Equinox Micro can accept external head, uh, heading, so heading, so external head, uh, heading sensor. But considering that the Equinox Micro is built for very high performance, and we have not we have decided not to integrate an internal magnetometer in itself we know that a navigation system is going to be integrated probably at the worst place in a vehicle so at the place where uh, a magnetometer would be perturbed very much and considering that it's a very high performance system putting a magnetometer in this kind of, of environment is going to really restrain the performance that you can obtain so if you need a uh, heading sensor, you have two options. Then you can integrate an external heading sensor that will be at the best location for, an, for a, a drone on the wings, for example. Uh, or if you need the level of accuracy that a built-in heading sensor would be able to offer in dead reckoning environment, then we already have a product for that. The Ellipse, it already has a magnetometer uh, in integrated and it would offer, offer the right level of performance. Okay, thank you, Johan. Uh, the following question is, is about a very specific application. It's um, what about using the Equinox Micro for multi beam mapping? So, uh, we'll take this question. So, the Equinox Micro has a marine motion profile um, uh, with, with, with a five centimeter in uh, EVE estimation. And if you, if you need more, 2.5 or 2 centimeter as the classical uh, application for hydrography. Uh, we, we have some dedicated product uh, in our product line uh, as a NAVSITE, Equinox, or Apogee. So it's really important uh, again to uh, to check what is exactly your, your needs in, ter in terms of estimation of the EVE. Okay, thank you. Um, next question uh, is about uh, integrity monitoring of the pure inertial and aided solution. Yeah, so first here, there are two levels for that. Uh, our tactical IMU, uh, the one that we use at the core uh, of the Equinox Micro, is built, uh, with, uh, is built around the concept of sensor clusters, which allow us to do continuous built-in tests and to continuously monitor the quality of the inertial data. And then in case there are mismatches between the, the different sensors in the cluster to raise a flag that something has happened, for example, a high shock, and to notify the system. To notify us first as the navigation, uh, the, provider, the provider of the navigation solution, but also to notify you so that you're aware that something might be, to, uh, might be not going well and that you might need to react to that. Then at the navigation level, of course, we do we use the, in the inertial integrity monitoring, but we also use multi-sensor integrity monitoring, checking that the GNSS position, inertial position, and the position that we can compute from our various heading, headings are, uh, are matching. However, uh, we do not offer something like a protection level available in real time but uh, feel free to contact us if you need uh, if you need more details okay thank you uh, next question we we receive is is the, the product compatible with antennas for jamming spoofing yeah i can take this one uh, this one also uh, it's a very good question and indeed when you plan to operate in an environment where you might lose the GNSS uh, due to jamming and spoofing, the first thing you should do is to make sure that you can keep the GNSS signal for as long as possible. So of course, we have multiple and uh, uh, multiple algorithms and solutions that will help you, that will help us uh, continue providing a position from the GNSS. However, working on a solution using antennas or filtering solutions uh, can help uh, increase this uh, the, the duration during which 
uh, you'll be able to will be able to continue receiving the GNSS. And the Equinox Micro is compatible with this uh, wide range of antennas and filtering solutions. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Antoine and, uh, and Yuan, for all your answer. So we will stop uh, this Q&A session here for today, but don't worry if your question has remained unanswered, we will revert to you very soon. So thank you for joining us today for this webinar. Uh, please note that you will receive a recording of this, of this webinar uh, later today, if you want to watch it again. Uh, and also, if you want to give your opinion uh, about this webinar, please wait until the end of the session um, and you will have to put the possibility to do so in a pop-up window. You will now find on your screen all the contact details from all our uh, uh, teams from all over the world and also the email address of Johan, the speaker of the day. <laughs> so don't hesitate uh, if you have any questions. Thank you again very much for your attendance today, and we hope to see you soon for another SBG Systems webinar. Stay tuned. Bye-bye, and have a nice day, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.